Rabeprazole works very quickly. Now let's see the mechanisms for this quick action, focusing on how Rabeprazole is converted into its active form. Every proton pump inhibitor so far developed is administered in a prodrug form. Prodrugs of the proton pump inhibitors enter from the bloodstream to the secretory canaliculi of the gastric parietal cells. These secretory canaliculi are filled with acid. The prodrug exposed to strong acid is protonated and undergoes a conformational change to its active form, which is capable of inhibiting the proton pump. The active compound, so formed, binds to particular cysteine residues of the proton pump. The cysteine residues are attainable from the side of the acid accumulating lumen. Then gastric acid secretion is inhibited. Non-gastric proton pumps, for example, in lysosomes, have no cysteine residues on their acid accumulating side. In such cases, proton pump inhibitors do not inhibit proton secretion. At the moment, there are several other commercially available proton pump inhibitors. However, they are not as susceptible to conversion into active forms. Each proton pump inhibitor requests different degrees of acid strength, that is, different minimal pH values for conversion from a prodrug to active form. In strong acid, any species of proton pump inhibitors can transform into their active forms. However, as the acidity lowers, that is, the pH value increases, the number of active forms decreases. The pH at which the number of prodrug forms and the number of active protonated forms are equal is called pKa for each inhibitor. The pKa for most proton pump inhibitors, except for rabeprazole, is below 4. Rabeprazole has a pKa of 5. This means rabeprazole can produce more active forms even in weak acid. Thus, rabeprazole is efficiently converted into its active form in weakly acidic lumen. Why is this important for the unique inhibitory action of rabeprazole? Gastric parietal cells are born close to the opening of the fundic gland and then migrate towards the bottom. Therefore, the parietal cells near the opening of the gland are young and highly active in acid secretion. The secretory canaliculi in such cells shows a strong acidity with a pH value as low as 1. On the contrary, the old parietal cells seen in the bottom have a lowered secretory activity. The intracanalicular pH is between 4 and 5, showing only mild acidity. Upon administration, any kind of proton pump inhibitor can generate a sufficient amount of active forms with the young parietal cells that maintain strong acidity with a pH of 1. However, it seems difficult for other proton pump inhibitors, except rabeprazole, to produce a sufficient number of active forms in the secretory canaliculi of the old parietal cells because the acidity is mild and the pH is 4 to 5. Even in such a weakly acidic environment, rabeprazole is fully converted into its active form and efficiently inhibits the proton pump. As you can see, rabeprazole can achieve extensive inhibition of proton pumps in all areas of gastric glands, even on the initial administration. 
The number of the proton pumps remaining uninhibited is much smaller with Rebeprazole in comparison with the other proton pump inhibitors. This is why Rebeprazole is fast acting and increases the intragastric pH even on initial administration.